Good afternoon, YouTube. We are just waking up. Well, no, we've, we've probably been awake for about an hour. Um, and it's been a bit hectic here. Yesterday, my eyes are tired. I'm sorry, I've still got my glasses on, haven't I? My eyes are tired. Um, fun and games, yeah. Um, yesterday I had a hospital appointment, first thing. Um, and I thought, okay, we'll take, we'll take my car for a good run out, because it's not had a good run out for a while. It's been moved about, but not a good run. So, um, Mr. Dory gets in and turns the ignition and we just, we just get tick, 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 tick. I was like, <sighs> so then he did it again, so I was like. <laughs> I wasn't in the car, but I could hear it, and I thought, oh, fantastic, so I just knocked on the window and, like, come here a minute, and he's like, um, I went, just leave it, just leave it, so it's flatter than a witch's what's it, um, which is fine, <laughs> um, still. Um, actually, I might have told you that. Did I tell you that? I don't think I did. I don't think I did tell you that. No. How could I have done it? It was only yesterday. Oh, do you know, my head's battered. So we went to the hospital in Mr. Dory's car. Um, and, um, my, I went to the EN, ENT consultant, ear, nose and throat consultant. And he has said that my voice box, my lar larynx, larynx, Sarah B will be laughing her head off at me trying to pronounce that, um, is, um, it's quite dried out, but it also looks, um, distended. And, um, also my, the muscles around my vocal cords or the muscles, that support my vocal cords or something to do with my vocal cords are swollen so there's swelling inflammation there um which is why i i often get quite a dry throat and quite a sore throat regularly um i always feel like i've, I've got something stuck in my throat when i when i eat um so yeah it's quite dry it's not at all moist <laughs> inside joke for the nation um so yeah that was that was great fun having a camera up your nose and down your throat Whoa. so um i've got a very sore throat today um we did have blue sky we did have blue sky <laughs> it's gone again now um and the weather yesterday was just miserable, so we, we were on a motorway for most of yesterday. Um, so we took Flo back up to Manchester, then we went and had lunch with um, my dad. Um, and Nemo got some new dinosaur toys off um, one of my dad's friends, who's kind of adopted him in a little way, as like a grandson I think. So, yeah, every time we go and see my dad or my dad comes here, he's like, oh, I've got this and oh, I've got that. I'm like, really? Oh, it's terrible he is. So, um, we're going to send him a thank you card and just say that's really sweet. Um, what else has happened? So, yeah, Flo went back um, and it already the house is already too quiet. Just don't like it. And then on Monday, Nemo goes back to school, so it's going to be even worse. Well, it won't, because I might, I might get the RAC out on Monday, but I'm not getting them out this weekend. Because it is the last weekend of the, the school Easter break here, so if they're going to be a bit busy. Um, and I don't need it. I don't need it to go anywhere. We're very lucky. I don't need my car. Um... We've got Mr. Dory's car, or we've got our legs to go up to the, the little village shop should we need to. But I think Mr. Dory kind of covered everything yesterday. He went shopping. I think he went shopping yesterday. I'm not sure. 
Um, so yeah, um, I was absolutely, absolutely exhausted. We came up to bed, Nemo and I, quite early, but we didn't go to sleep for some reason. It's like we both got a second wind and we just got the giggles. He was watching something and was absolutely laughing his head off. I don't know what he was watching, but, you know, it was almost infectious. So, um, because he was laughing and I was laughing, I was just setting each other off. So Mr. Dory came up and he said, did you know it's nearly midnight? I was like, really? So we decided it um, might be a good idea for us both to be quiet and go to sleep. So we did. And then we didn't wake up till 10 to 1 this afternoon. So we both must have needed a really good sleep. I know I did. I felt dreadful yesterday. I was really, really suffering. Um, needless to say, my back is shot to bits today from, from having to sit in the car for that long. Um, because at the moment that I've got a disc that's completely dehydrated and one the next one up is almost dehydrated so we've got one vertebrae rubbing on another so it's bone on bone so you can imagine what pain that's like it's just horrible um i've not been able to get my pain meds because they were so busy every time i phoned it's been, it's been like you are calling number 35 and it's not a local number um, and what they've done is they've, they've sent now all the surgeries in the area for Shropshire, I think it is, Shropshire and Telford, or Sh sorry, Shrewsbury and Telford are under like a kind of a, a one call centre and you phone this particular number, um, and it's called a pod prescription ordering department, <laughs> something like that. <laughs> Um, so, so you ring that and they then send your prescription through to the pharmacy of your choice um, via email and that's not a problem I can, they know me now they, they'll do it there and then I don't have to wait 48 hours um, so I'm very lucky however um, when I came to take my meds last night I noticed that I've, I have actually now run out of some stuff so uh, lots of alterol, lots of hot water bottles, lots of deep heat, and lots of bed rest for Dory this weekend. Um, so, hence the the, uh, the update from the bed. So, here we are in the bed. Um, with regards to paranormal activity, I will update you on that later. When... Um, Certainly, little cheeky chappy is asleep. Um, just a couple of things on that, so it's not too bad. And I have actually bought myself a book on. Um, it's a modern guide to to witchcraft and and sort of hexes and well, not hexes. Let me see. What it says. The modern guide to witchcraft. Your complete guide to witches, covens, and spells, and apparently this is like one of the best sellers for people who are looking at paranormal activity and stuff like that. So, um, I've also you, you can laugh all you want at this because I laughed. I literally did a belly laugh when somebody said this to me. Um, I know somebody who who believes in sort of witchcraft and does a lot, a lot of Reiki and healing with crystals and um, she does tarot she, she, she's not wrong she's never wrong with me never wrong and um, she asked me nine questions and out of the nine I scored eight out of nine um, and she basically said, well, yeah, you've definitely got a strong, you, you can pick up on things, you, you've got a very strong sense of the paranormal and stuff. So I was like, okay. And sort of took that with a grain of salt and walked off. And anyway, she um, she messaged me. The book arrived yesterday. No, the book arrived on Thursday. And I didn't open it till yesterday. 
she messaged me on Thursday night and said to me, have you bought a book on um, paranormal witchcraft? I said, yeah. I said, how did you know that? I hadn't told anyone. I hadn't told anybody. I'd not put it on Facebook, not put it on Twitter, nothing. Not told a soul, she said. She said, I just, I, I've done you a reading. She said, I've got a really strong sense of you and I've done you a reading. Do you want to hear it? So I said, yes. So she told me the, the reading. I said, bang on, absolutely bang on. She said, about my health. I was like, yep. Um, and, I mean, we can go six months without speaking to each other, even a year sometimes without speaking to each other. And when she contacts me, she's absolutely spot on with what's going on in my life. And it's something, there's a lot of stuff I don't share with people on Facebook or at all because it's nothing to do with them. Um, you know, or it might be something sad and I don't want to upset people and things like that. But she knows and she just knew. I was like, well, that's really spooky. That's really spooky. Um, we've had quite a few things going on, so I will update you later on on that. Um, the sun's coming out again. You can see the reflection on my glasses. So, um, yeah, I hope whatever you're doing today is something nice. I hope it's sunny where you are. Apparently we are in for a nice weekend, so um, if Mr Dory can get some stuff done in the garden today, that means we might be able to do something nice with Nemo tomorrow. I think it's, he's gone out and had a look at sort of what the, the recent weather has done to the garden, the winds and the blizzards and the snow and ice and everything that we've had. He's not been able to touch the garden just because of the, the weather, so... Um, I think he's gone to have a look at what damage has been done and try and limit any further damage and, and maybe plant some bulbs and stuff and, or some other stuff, I think. I mean, she'll put his bulbs in by now, to be fair. But I don't know if he's been able to get to the ground. So, um, yeah, that's what we're doing today is uh, nothing. Nemo and I, we're just chilling, so I'm going to read my new book. He's on, playing on his new game. Um, and having fun, and then, not sure what we're doing this evening, um, and, but I will update you later on. I need to take a drink, oh, I've got such a dry throat, um, so yes, I will speak to you later, so have a, a good afternoon, whatever you're doing, enjoy yourself, have fun, uh, and I will see you later.